Well, the last time I looked at his travel advice, I wasn't too convinced. Let's give him another shot, shall we? Hi, John here again with Hispaniacs, and everybody's favourite travel expert, Simon Calder, has got some more advice for us about travelling. I think it was a couple of weeks ago, wasn't it, I did one of his stories, and he was saying that if you're stuck in the queue, you know, to put your bag through, your hand luggage bag, get it all scanned and that security bit, if you're stuck there, you should kick off, you should cause a fuss, because you might miss your plane. To me, that was completely wrong advice. The last thing you want to do at airport security is kick off and make a fuss, right? But I thought, he's got some more advice here in, in the Express. So let's give him another shot, so see what we can learn from him today. Simon has visited over 100 countries and describes himself as risk averse. He shared his safety checklist with the Express. I also identify as risk averse, and I think most people would, wouldn't they? Simon said, my first concern is about road accidents, which very sadly are responsible for a greater loss of life among British travellers abroad than any other cause. Simon advised, I minimise the amount of travel by road I do, rail or air are generally better. Blimey, he is risk averse, isn't he? Don't even like going in a car on holiday. What happens if you're on a fly drive holiday in Florida or something? That's going to be a long walk, Simon. I mean, I like to rent cars when I go places because you get to see more and do more, and some countries are safer than others. I've had plenty of incidents. I think Serbia wasn't a dream holiday for me in a car. Neither was Romania. But then driving in America was a bit of a nightmare as well sometimes. But, you know, sometimes you have to do it for travel. You can be risk-averse and still use a car. Now, remind me not to go on a fly-drive holiday to Florida with Simon Calder. What else has he got to say? The next thing I do is remind myself about riptides because we're just getting into the kind of peak holiday season. It's really, really good to remember the basics of swimming in the sea, which you can research very easily online. Why should we research it very easily online? You're here giving us advice about riptides. Tell us what to do, Simon. There are some good sources of information about how to read the tide, and if you're caught in one, how to respond safely. Yeah, seems like a bit of a nonsense article, this one, really, doesn't it? Although... Credit where it's due, he makes a fair point there, because many people do get in trouble swimming in the sea. It's very, very different to being in a big swimming pool, isn't it? And the tides can get you and pull you out. The amount of times you hear the horror stories about kids or adults on those inflatables that end up miles off the coast just because the tide got them. Yeah, not good. Do you know what? I don't think the UK's leading travel expert, Simon Calder, should have even bothered with this. This seems like the Express just trying to pack something out. Doesn't he? He's given no information at all. He doesn't like going in a car, and he tells you to be careful. You knew to be careful when you go in the car, because you're a responsible adult, and that's why you're watching this channel. The riptide thing, fair enough, but he doesn't tell you what to do about it. He just says, watch out for riptides. What's a riptide? How do I spot a riptide, Simon? Please help me. I haven't got Google on my phone. You know, and then what's it, what else does he go on to talk about on here? Oh, vaccinations in other funny countries, which I don't have to worry about for Spain. You don't need any vaccinations to come to Spain at the moment, just a clean test. So that's good. But yeah, I, he comes out with all these things. I think the worst one that I've heard him come out with was a couple of weeks ago, when, it, it, like I said at the beginning of the video, if you stand in the security queue and you've been there a while and you're going to miss your flight, kick off, cause a fuss. Yeah, don't, don't do that. I'm going to stop reading Simon Calder's travel advice, I think, because he hasn't had any good stuff. Hasn't had any good stuff for a while. Right, well, let's see if we can do better than Simon Calder, shall we? Let me know your top travel tips for coming to Spain specifically. Let me know in the comments below, and funny ones as well. The best one I'll pin to the top of the comment thing down there so that, so that everyone can see it. And while you're down there, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, because that way, hopefully, I'll see you in another video again soon, won't I? Thanks for watching. Ta-da.